Zolda of Phlogiston. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. As you arrive at the front desk, ask the attending staff member and request to visit the holder of Phlogiston. Do not let the workman's sudden shudder worry you, nor must you watch his dilating eyes, as losing your composure in this visit will end your life. With a short sigh, the worker shall hand you a small key card, though if you look at it, the words don't appear to be English, but in some incoherent gibberish symbols. Costively, he'll direct you to a corridor to the left, and instruct you to open the unnamed door. Despite his vague directions, you should head along the corridor in a crisp walk. As you maneuver down the hall, you need to take note of the doors you pass by. Each door has a small plate with a number beside it. You will count up to at least forty. Though, you won't have to count much more than that. Finally, you will notice a break in the orthodox system of the plates. You'll find a plate completely blank. Be wary, despite being a simple plate, a strange heat will be emitting from underneath the door. If you look closely, you'll see ripples wavering in the air. But don't let this sight hinder your progress. Open the door. Slide your keycard in the card slot situated behind the unbranded plate. Twist the knob and walk inside. You'll immediately be blasted by an intense heat wave. Almost simultaneously, you'll find your skin burning rapidly by this invisible fervor. Endure it, as you must endure it for a considerable amount of time. If your eyes can still function in this inferno, you'll see that you've entered a rich Victorian-styled room. It's extravagantly furnished, with a radiance of colors coming from many embellishments carefully placed around the room. Apart from the ludicrous decorations, You'll find a small fireplace with a blue flame dwindling inside it, with an old man sitting beside it on a crooked chair, contrasting with the beautiful room around him. Step towards the chair, not too close, as each step will cause the already extreme heat to increase in proportion. Politely ask him, Do you have anything to drink? The man will chuckle and slowly lift himself from his seat. Although the man has such grotesque features, his movement isn't slow or tardy. He'll move to a nearby table with a rich tea set. Once there, the man will commence pouring this tea in a lavish cup. When he's finished, he'll gesture to take one sip from the cup. Accept the offer and head towards the cup, ignoring the smouldering heat which can draw many into the state of exhaustion and insanity. You must take the cup and take one small sip. The cup itself will feel like hot steel, but do not drop the cup, because the man will not pour again. In doing that, you won't be able to leave the room and the conclusion shall be obvious. If you are able to withstand the pain of holding this cup, take a sip. The tea will taste bitter, and will quickly burn your throat, tongue, and anywhere else it is able to touch. It will feel like you've just taken a small mouthful of boiling lava and allowed it to slither down your throat. Endure the experience for more than five seconds. Soon you'll feel the air become cool again. Your throat rejuvenated, 
as well as your sweat-drenched body and clothes, untouched and dry. If you check on the table, you'll find that the tea set is gone and has now been replaced with a small matchbox. If lighted, these matches shall burn through any material in existence. This matchbox is object 314 or 538. Do what you may with this object, but torn pieces shall always be repaired by the one who wishes it.